Hey everybody and welcome back into the channel on Anonymous 2K here and today we're going to talk about the newest uh, monthly quest Modox Hotel. So we have the Punishing Angel at Act 1 Chapter 1 and she is very hard to go through basically because she has two nodes. Uh, she starts with two uh, bars of power and she has unstoppable uh, SP2. Um, in addition all all the specials are costing 50% less. So I do believe that if you try to go against her, you have uh, managed to do as best as you can against her. Take her down uh, somewhat. Uh, because the bosses don't really have special three activated, you can go ahead and just um, bash as much as you can. But still, it comes one... Uh, at least once out of the fight that you just get this. You just die. The, she activates the SP2 and you're dead. So right now we're going to talk about who will be a counter to withstand that blast basically. The first one is going to be Spider-Man. Spider-Man has built-in evasion uh, in him. And that built-in evasion even uh, increases when he's below 50%. But more important than that, he has a 45% power burn on his heavy attack. So it basically works every 30 seconds, his heavy attack. But you can start a fight and just use the heavy attack in the get-go like this. And from now on, you just bait that for SB1. You don't go over the SB1. And you try to make um, as much damage as you can. My goal right here is not to take her down. But just to show you guys the evasion. The evade that he has right here. And right now we have uh, AI uh, came back on. Do not take her over the SB1. Just bait that uh, uh, SB1. And it's easy game, easy um, life. We're going to go ahead and move over to our second counter right now. And the second counter is going to be Luke Cage. Why not? Even though that he doesn't hit my hard, Luke Cage has the th right now he's at level 63.2 seconds that he's going to be invulnerable to damage. So basically, it's the same strategy with Luke Cage. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to bait that SB2 to hit us. Let's see where, where that SB2 is. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't take her to the SB3 since... You guys see she's back to the SP2. But as you guys saw, we have survived her first SP2. From there on, on, you can just bait her SP1 again. And we have our second counter for uh, the Punishing Angel. The third counter that we're going to talk about right now is going to be Dormammu. Dormammu has... Uh, special ability that if his last hit will be um, medium he will drain maximum power and the enemy will not gain any power from that so basically the the trick is start the fight do two medium ones one two and as you guys can see she went down um she went down lower than two bars of power from then and on i just messed up but that's basically it a few mediums only in the beginning or just one medium and bait sp1 same thing over and over again do not get her over that sp1 I don't get her to the sp2 just bait that sp1 and just you can go ahead and uh, take her down pretty easy the, th the fourth um, counter that I'm going to talk about, it is going to be Vision. My OG Vision, he is duped level 66 if I'm not mistaken at the moment, but it doesn't really matter. 
he is, in my opinion, one of the best champions to use since you already start with a power. So there you go. Start. Just drain the power and you have a regular fight on your hands. She's easy from there and on. The fifth counter that I'm going to talk about, I don't have him, so I couldn't include him in the video. It is going to be Mephisto. Mephisto has an ability that when he is going lower than 30% health, he is invulnerable to damage and he heals up. So you can just take Mephisto in. I don't have him, unfortunately, not in 2, not in 3, and not in 4 star, so I cannot show you this. But you can take him in. Um, when you get hit for the first time with that SP2, he will stop at 30% health. He's going to re re regen a little bit. And from there and on, again, don't get her to the SP2. Just pay that SP1. Easy win, easy fight. So the next champion that we're going to talk about is going to be Nightcrawler. And Nightcrawler has a 22% chance to evade incoming attacks and another 15% if they are physical damage. So in total, 37%. 37% uh, to evade, it's not that high, it's not that much, so it's not uh, reliable as much as the other ones. So we're going to show right here how you can evade, if you can evade at all. So you can see that the first part is going to be evaded, but unfortunately... The second one is not since it's not reliable. So, of course, it's not the best one, but it's an option nonetheless. Right now, we're going to go over and talk about Mordo a little bit. Uh, Mordo cannot evade that SP2 with the projectiles and whatnot, but while blocking uh, for extra half a second he can block unblockable specials. So that's what we're going to try with him and next to block those unblockable um, special attacks. And as you guys can see, I'm not going in, uh, pretty much not fighting, just blocking so the, the unblockable will start. But it is very hard to get her to fire that SB2 since we're blocking so you see me right here at the end of the mat uh, at the end of the ring whatever you want to call it and i am trying to get her to use that sp2 with no success up until now it is very very hard to do so and right now i just couldn't just couldn't uh, hit that block fast enough again unreliable very hard to do it but another option for us uh, option number what are we at eight if i'm not mistaken is daredevil uh daredevil is very great option since he has the ability to evade all incoming projectiles my daredevil uh, is at 84 percent at the moment and you can see that well while fighting you don't really need to pay a lot of attention to the to the power meter or whatnot since her sp1 and sp2 is pure projectiles and you can just stand there don't you you don't even have to evade uh let the ai do it um all over again by itself so you guys can see it's very easy to do it with um daredevil right here the og daredevil the red one I'm just trying to get as many SP2s and SP1s fired at me. Uh, I do have 84% on the evade, so it's a it's a very high percentage. And in my opinion, one of the two of the best champions that you can do it with if you have the chance, uh, including OG De uh, Daredevil and OG um, Vision. Uh, the ninth and the tenth champion that. I'm going to talk about is uh, are going to be both the Punisher and Hela. I don't have Hela, but they work in the same way. Basically, when they die, the Punisher has a certain amount of percentage based on his um, awakened ability to be indestructible, not to die. So right here, you can see I'm not going to evade her SP2, but 
I am not dead. I am healing a little bit from the willpower, and it's not a problem. Hella, same thing. When she not, uh, if you have the synergy, when you get knocked out, you can just uh, stay in the fight. And again, don't let her go over the uh, SP two. Just keep her and the and bait the SP ones. Uh, so, right here we have the nine champions that can take. Um, that can take our Punishing Angel down, and those are all options. Uh, you have to choose and pick and choose which one you want to take, and of course, it depends on your roster. So I'm going to go a little bit uh, over those champions that we have uh, checked out right here. We have Stark Spidey, great champion. Luke Cage, great option. Dormammu, a little bit of work, but it's possible, easy. Mephisto, uh, we have Nightcrawler. And Mordo, we have the, the Punisher and Hela. And of course, in my opinion, the best two options are going to be OG Daredevil, if you have him awakened, and the, the OG Vision, if you have him awakened as well. So we have nine options to take out the Punishing Angel. Um, if I forgot any of the champions, just let me know in the comment section. Uh, if there's anything that I forgot to, uh, to mention, do mention that in, in the comment section down below. And let me know which champion that you use and which one do you think is best to use against her. And of course, this is going to apply to uh, wars as well and all the unstoppable SP1s and SP2s that you cannot just evade those incoming proje projectiles in all uh, over the game. So... If this helped you out, guys, share the video, give it a th uh, thumbs up, and like, and of course, most important, subscribe to the channel for the upcoming new um, videos and guides coming up. So thank you guys, and as always, see you next time.